Hi, I'm Anthony Fagiano, and this is Midline Story Behind the Song. So Summer Sky, I wrote back in like 1991. I was still, I was just, I think I just graduated from high school. It was about a good friend that we all went to high school, that we all knew. I still lived with my parents back then. I remember borrowing a buddy that was hanging out with the band at the time. I borrowed his little moped. I remember actually going there and I saw ambulance and fire trucks going down this street where I lived off of, which was called Warm Springs. Like the sun was really blinding. When you went down Warm Springs, when the sun was going down, you couldn't see anything. I was heading back to band practice. I believe it was dark by then. And I remember getting back to the band house. And before I had left the band house to go back, we were all having a great time, good mood. Went back, came back, and everyone was just kind of somber and just really down. And someone had let the band know, and that was everyone that was there, that um, that Megan Hutchinson had died. You know, and it was just someone we went to high school with, and it was just weird that oh my gosh, you know how life can just be gone like that. We might have rehearsed that night, and then I came home, and it. It just weared on me. I had this room where I kind of kept all my guitars and stuff from where I wrote my songs. When I wrote the song, I was listening to Metallica, and I think I, I had just learned, like, you know. And I just, I, I came up with this riff, like, immediately. It just was like. So when I, I just had that riff and I kept playing it over and over again, I think at that time I had an electric guitar with probably an amp. I remember my father coming in the room, you know, several times. Hey, you, it's late. You need to go to bed. And I was thinking like about kind of like how young I was at the time. And, you know, I think when you're, you know, just you, I, I barely was out of high school and I you don't think you're going to die. You're kind of invincible type kind of feeling. And when somebody that's your age, it really throws you. Your ship sailed away, now you're gone. Because I, you know, I knew from my past that no one's coming back. You know, my, my went through my grandma's, my uncle's, whatever died. Someone young, it was hard to take. So that's where I came up. The first verse was just kind of like... Ship sailed away, now you're gone. They gave you life, but not for very long. Well, who's to say what is right? Well, if you ask me, I think it's wrong. Oh. So it just kind of kept flowing from there on, and then immediately I got the chorus. But I just kind of, you know. How can it be? Well, I just can't say. Well, how can it be? So this, the next verse is really, I got the lyric from, you know, I remember riding back, or I was riding there and I remember seeing all the ambulance and, and the sun was like so bright I couldn't, you can't see in front of you. And I just remember seeing the fire trucks rolling and but I just, I came up with that lyric about the sun and that's kind of where I got the, the, the name of the song was Summer Sky, but. Sun was shining so, so bright. Under the summer sky, it seems so dim right now. It must have been your heart that filled it in. The third verse now, it I and mean, where I got these lyrics from is someone came with the news that Megan had, you know, had died. You know, once I learned the story, I put two and two together where she was at. 
I just I saw the fire trucks. I I you know it was up the street from where I lived. This is kind of the scene of me coming back to the band house and learning the news. All our friends they seem so tired. All the look in their eyes. Well, sometimes your life can be such a surprise. But does that make it right? Oh no. I brought it to the band and Scott kind of helped me on the course and we kind of changed some stuff and so Scott you know we did some bridge stuff and um, refined it but when we played it live for the first time I mean I just remember getting this this huge response from you know the you know the three or four people that would come to our shows at that time and then later after we recorded on our first record um, we had some radio play locally and that song just took off I mean that I, I remember it was getting played like something like 49 times a week. It was a song that still, to this day, the band's been together for man, 27 years now. Someone always requests that song. So it's a lot of our fans and our friends' favorite song. It's kind of funny because my dad was always like, oh, I love that song, Summer Sky, but that was, I always tell him, hey, that was the song that you told me not to write that night. So many emotions were going through me at the time that that song just really pretty much, I probably wrote it within the hour of the riff when I came up with the riff and the lyrics just kind of followed the night and it was one of the first songs I think I ever wrote that actually told us a, a true story kind of uh, just I just took each segment that happened in that day and it just it just flowed out uh, most of my lyrics that I write in other songs it's maybe something I'm thinking about or something that I something that might have happened in the past or just anything but it was that Summer Sky, the, that song was that day, and it was probably the one song and only song I ever wrote just about an event that happened um, in that moment. You know, I remember one of the things that always stood out um, uh, was that, you know, she loved life and that, um, that she wouldn't even pull a weed. Like if she saw a dandelion or, a, or something like that with a flower, she, just, she saw beauty in that and she wouldn't even, she thought that was, you know, pretty. That was beautiful. It wasn't a weed to her. And that always stood out because um, I think that um, sometimes people uh, don't look at the whole picture. We're not in a perfect world and there's beauty really in everything. <laughs> 